Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another what's for dinner video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy. In today's video, I'm going to be making a garlic herb pork tenderloin with potatoes, carrots, and gravy. This recipe is 388 calories, nine points on blue, six points on purple, and 12 points on green. You could definitely lower the points by using a little bit less of the potatoes. And as you can see here, I've got my bag out. This is a DIY dinner kit that I do on meal prep Sunday. So in here I have 10 ounces of pork tenderloin. I also have 12 ounces of potato, which is actually just one potato, and also 12 ounces of carrots. Now, one thing you could do if you're on blue or green, you could lower the amount of potatoes that you use, and that way it'll lower your points. And then in here I have the topping for the pork tenderloin. This topping consists of one grated garlic clove, a quarter ounce of chives, a tablespoon of stone ground mustard, and a half a tablespoon of olive oil. And then I also have a half a cup of Heinz pork gravy. You can use whatever kind of gravy you want. So I'm just going to set those aside for now. Now I'm just going to go through and cut up my carrots. For this recipe, normally I don't peel the carrots and potatoes. I usually just scrub them clean with a scrub brush, a vegetable brush. For this one, I am gonna go ahead and peel them, both the carrots and the potatoes. So I'm gonna just peel them up and then I'm just gonna cut them into just small pieces that look like french fries. Now how thin you cut your carrots and potatoes really depends on how much crunch you like. So when I make my potatoes and carrots, I do like them to be pretty crispy, um, almost like the ends to be a little bit burnt. So just depending how much, how you like those, you can cut them however you want. Typically when I do this recipe, I do it in the oven. I'm actually going to be using my air fryer this time. So if you're using an oven, you would just bake it at 450 degrees for 25 minutes. Instead of putting it in the air fryer, you would just put it on a pan. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of cooking spray. So I'm using my Misto and of course as you can see here it's pretty much out. So I'm just going to refill this. If you have a Misto sprayer you may notice that sometimes when you fill it it sprays a straight line. You always want to make sure that you only fill your Misto about halfway with, I use olive oil in mine, and then just put the top on it and then just give it a few pumps to kind of pump it through. And then I'm just going to kind of mix those up and I'm also going to add some salt and pepper to them as well. So now I'm going to get the air fryer part of my Instant Pot. So I have the Instant Pot Duo Crisp with air fryer lid, so that's the one I'm going to be using. So I'm just spraying that with some cooking spray and then I'll just put my potatoes and carrots in the bottom. And then I'm going to try to make kind of like a little well in the middle of it so that that's where I can put my pork tenderloin. For the pork tenderloin, I'm just going to take that out of the package and take a paper towel, just pat it dry, and then I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to just one side. I don't want to add too much because I've already got the saltiness in the topping. So now I'm just going to spread the topping on top and then put them right in my pan. And depending on the size of your air fryer basket, you may have to kind of push them around a little bit just to make sure that they fit properly. Then I'm just gonna add that into my Instant Pot so now that I've got that, here is my regular Instant Pot cover. So I don't use that for the air fryer. I, the, it comes with an air fryer lid like this. 
and I just put that on there and I'm gonna air fry this for about 20 minutes on 400 degrees. Now, I do set it for 20 minutes. I do end up doing another five minutes on mine just because when I checked it after the 20, it wasn't the crispness that I liked to it. So like I said, I really do like my ends a little bit crisp. I also just took my gravy and put it in the microwave. I did it for 30 seconds, stirred it up, and then did it another 30 seconds. You can make your own gravy if you want, completely up to you. So here's where I'm adding another five minutes after I checked it and it just wasn't quite the crispness that I like. And there's the Christmas crispness that I like. I can't say that word fa very fast. So I like the ends just to be a little bit burnt. So now I'm just gonna add everything to our plates. And again, this my kits make enough just for two people. So we have no leftovers, we can't overeat. The points are the points. Now just cut it up into little pieces and drizzle it with some of that gravy and you have yourself an amazing dinner. Like I said, 388 calories, 9 points on blue, 6 points on purple, and 12 points on green. So I hope you all liked this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. I'm Christy, and I'm planning us healthy. You're perfect as you are.